So I'm here with a man who needs no introduction, uh, Lincoln Eunice. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. They've been here for a few days. Yes. So what have been the highlights so far? Uh, highlights have been, we, we hired a car the other day and we got to drive around the country and, and see all the beautiful sights. Um, so that would be a highlight. Um, and obviously meeting all you beautiful Irish people. Oh, been, you're very good. Highlight. Now obviously we're here to talk about Home Away and everything. Mm. So first of all, just tell us how you got into acting. Uh, well, initially I wanted to be a soccer player, um, so that kind of changed when I was about 16 when I realised acting was something I'd like to do. I went for this audition called Tangle uh, and got that show and then did a few seasons of that, finished mm -hmm. school and then, yeah, got home and away. And of course you joined the most infamous family of all. The Braxton Brothers. Yeah, we came on. That the storylines cool. these lads have is just ah, insane. We're very lucky. You are lucky. Yeah, yeah. So is that nice when you get these really meaty roles? Yeah, it's, it's been it's been awesome. Obviously, you're working so intensely every year. Like it's 46 weeks a year. So if you weren't doing interesting storylines, it might get a bit tedious. Is this how you want to play it? Just mind your own business, Casey. How do you think Casey is going to react when he finds out that his dad is actually his arch nemesis? He, um, yeah, it's, a, it's obviously more drama. Uh, he kind of has to recalibrate everything he's known. Um, and obviously that causes tensions between the brothers because he's, he's not sure whether he's a brother anymore. Yeah. And, um, because he was always, he always was a little bit overshadowed. He's always, yeah, he's always, I mean, he's always been the youngest, so he's kind of always had to find his place in the world. In the past, there's been, you know, real life romances with mm. some of the cast members, with Romeo and Ruby. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. of course, you were going out with Ruby on the show. So yeah. Was that, is that awkward? At yeah, all? Uh, look, um, Luke, Beck and I are really, really good friends. Um, but when I first started, there was a scene where uh, I had to kiss Beck's character in front of Luke's character. So weird! Oh no! And that was my introduction to Luke. I went, "Hey, mate, I gotta kiss your girlfriend today. I'm sorry." So, <laughs> so that that was a bit awkward. What else am I meant to do? I'm not saying don't go. Just you need to work out how you're gonna fix this before you run off and make it worse. I, I got You've only got one shot of this. Don't stuff it up. And do you think that you're gonna follow in anyone's footsteps and maybe go off to LA? Yeah. Well, when like eventually when I do leave the show, I'd love to. Um, venture over to LA and I've kind of been over there and, and had a look at it and it's a pretty exciting place. I just love to do a career that, that keeps me interested. You know when you have like fans coming up to you, can you spot the Irish ones? Because obviously there's so many Irish people in Australia and loads like bus loads of them go over to where you film. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is so bad. Usually the ones that are really burnt. I know! <laughs> <laughs> the sunburnt ones. Because there'll be an hour in and, and at Palm Beach it's quite strong sun. Yeah, so um, how's your like your English accent, your Irish accent, your American I'm accent? I'm do it here. Yeah, teach me some Irish. Teach me some Irish. Oh, no, Irish accents. Okay, well obviously the simplest thing is what's the crack? What's the crack? Yeah. Harrow <laughs> That's brilliant! Harrow <laughs>